one of our um, main strategies was going to be to get out to the fleet concentrated areas and have a conversation. That's when you get the best information from our sailors. You can't do it via nav admin. You can't do it via email. You need to have a conversation with sailors. A and we have um, stuck to our guns and we're having a great time doing it. Well, I tell you, me and CNP, Chief of Naval Personnel, Admiral Moran, we came out from Washington and we had an opportunity to do three all hands calls with the sailors on the base. And one of our responsibilities, I believe, is to make sure that we are communicating um, to the fleet, giving them feedback. They um, send us questions, they share their concerns with us, and to be able to come out and talk to them face to face, I believe is um, a great opportunity that we have and it's important. During our um, enlisted um, all hands call, one of the things we talked about was tuition assistance. They were just wondering, curious, if we were gonna have any changes in that. They talked about the force of our um, Navy. Were we gonna see any declines in personnel? And of course, we put that to bed by saying no. We have stabilized the force. We are right where we need to be and we don't see any of those changes coming anytime soon. We talked about our new um, final multiple scores that they've been hearing about. They were able to hear that from Admiral Moran firsthand. And basically the people programs that um, Chief of Naval Personnel is responsible for. They, they had an opportunity to ask questions and hear it firsthand. And then they gave us some feedback with regards to overseas screenings, um, some of the challenges um, that they're having when they get their orders in a um, small amount of time to execute. And we'll take that back and we'll do whatever we can. Because um, one of the things that I tell sailors is, is we're supposed to, leadership sets sailors up for success and we, we provide the conditions so they can be successful. So we take that information back to DC and if it's a policy and we can change it for the better, then that's what we'll do. I think one of our goals is to be able to provide a sailor and their families more stability. If that has to do with changing of um, location, if that has to do with deployment um, links, if that has to do with any type of um, pay changes, they just want to know. And, and we're working on making sure that we can provide them and manage their expectations. But if we can give them more stability in their careers, I believe that's one thing that we need to work on. I do believe that we have a great Navy, but one of the things that I talk to our Chiefs Mess about is never, ever, ever settle. We'll always have opportunities to do something better. We'll always have an opportunity to look ahead and foresee something coming, and we need to make sure that we go out and try to solve that before it becomes a problem. So never get comfortable and always look for an opportunity to do something better. I believe our Navy provides each sailor an opportunity. And, and I would hate to think that there's any sailor out there that feels that they don't have the opportunity to succeed. So from the most junior to the most senior, it's all about having opportunities and then being able to walk through those doors that are open for you. But one of the things that we're um, um, visualizing is when a sailor comes through boot camp, we issue them, for lack of a better term, a tablet. And instead of all these different paper manuals that they have to read and, and, and um, look through, issue them this e-tablet. And they'll take that e-tablet onto their A school, they'll take that e-tablet onto their first command, and we'll develop applications. So instead of them having to look for updates, we'll send them like a, a, a banner that says, you have a new update, just like my iPhone does now and I just push the button and it gets updated. So we are looking at being more innovative. We're, we're ch we need to catch up with technology. We're a little bit behind the power curve, but we are doing what we need to do so we can catch up.